Hi, welcome to this new series, CWI Practice Questions. I've designed these practice questions for aspiring CWI exam test takers or for those welding inspectors looking for or looking to refresh their knowledge with regards to welding inspection. This is just a five set of question, questions, so it is perfect to start your day basically. I will run through each of the choices so you will know the reason why it is a wrong or right answer. So let's get started. For the first question, this welding process operates by heating the metal with an electric arc between a covered metal uh, electrode and the metals to be joined, more commonly referred to as a stick welding. Letter A, SMAW, letter B, GTAW, letter C, GMAW, letter D, SAW. So for the choices, GTAW is gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding, so that's not the correct answer. Letter C, GMAW or MIG welding is also not the correct answer because it refers to us as the gas metal arc welding or MIG welding. Letter D is SAW or submerged arc welding. It is a fully automatic process. So the answer here is stick welding is known as SMAW. So as you can see here, the flux coating or the uh, electrode produces a shielding gas that protects the weld pool from harmful atmospheric gases that will embrittle the weld. So that's the basic principle of SMAW. Next question. This is one of the characteristics of the electrode coating in SMAO where it decomposes to form a gaseous shield for the molten metal. Letter A, shielding. Letter B, deoxidation. Letter C, alloying. Letter D, insulating. So for the choices, deoxidation is the process or the characteristics of the electrode that removes the impurities from the molten metal. Alloying refers to as the addition of elements that will improve the mechanical properties of the weld. Insulating is the property of the electrode that produces a solidified slag that will prevent the sudden drop of temperature for the weld thus preventing embrittlement. So the answer here is letter A, shielding. It is the characteristic of the electrode coating where it decomposes to form a gaseous shield for the molten metal for the purposes of protecting it from harmful gases that will embrittle the weld or cause unattended weld defects. Flux coating improves the electrical characteristics to increase arc stability. What do you call this characteristic of the flux coating of SMAO? Letter A, shielding. Letter B, deoxidation. Letter C, alloying. Letter D, ionizing. So the answer here is letter D. So as I've mentioned in the previous question, question shielding is the property or the characteristic of SMAO wherein it prevents harmful gases from entering the molten pool of metal from contaminating the weld and causing embrittlement. The oxidation uh, produces chemicals into the weld that will uh, oxidize the weld, the molten pool of metal. Alloying, as I've mentioned earlier, also uh, produces the elements that will improve the characteristics of the molten pool of metal and thus improving its mechanical properties. So that leaves to us the letter D as ionizing, which is the correct answer, which is the improvement of the electrical characteristics to increase arc stability. So arc stability is very important uh, during stick welding because it's a manual welding process. Because it, you need to ensure that the creation of arc during the welding process is stable so as not to produce a defect Next question about welding electrodes. What does the first two digit of this SMAW electrode mean? E7018. A weld diameter of 0.7 mm. Tensile strength of 70 MPa. Tensile strength of 70 KSI. Letter D, low hydrogen electrode. The answer here is letter C. So the first two digits of this small electrode is the number 
70 or 70. So the first two digits or the first two, two to three digits of a SMAW electrode is commonly pertaining to the tensile strength of the uh, of the electrode measured at KSI or thousands thousand pounds per square inch. So that leaves us with the answer of letter C. 70 KSI tensile strength of this small electrode. Next question. Since SMEW is a manual process, the welder must constantly replace the consumed electrode affecting its blank. A. Current B. Productivity C. Maintenance D. Arc length So letter A for, from these choices does not make any sense. So uh, if you replace the consumed electrode, it will not affect the current setting of the welding machine. Letter C. Maintenance so if you replace the consumed electrode, it does not mean you're maintaining the electrode or the welding machine. So it's not that it's not the correct answer. Letter D arc length. So the arc length meaning the uh, measurement of the weld arc that is produced during the weld. So that's not the correct answer. So that leaves us to letter B productivity. Because as you replace the consumed electrode you're basically wasting time replacing that electrode instead of just producing the weld continuously this the main problems for main problem for SMAW as it is a time consuming process because you need to replace the consumed electrode every now and then so this problem or this issue will be resolved for other processes such as the JMAW or FCAW because it has a continuously feeding electrode with them. So that's it. If you want to kickstart your journey to become a CWI, I have a link down below in the description that will take you through a free online course regarding the introductory part of the fundamentals of the CWI exam. Basically, it covers the welding inspector roles and responsibilities and the welding safety practices. It also has a sample questions like these uh, that you can practice with as a part of your preparation towards becoming a CWI. So if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one.